Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to encode URL using JavaScript. Okay, let's get started. Let's create an index.php file and let's create another one, encode.php file. Okay, these are the two files that we have created. Now in the index.html, uh, let's create an HTML5. Okay, and in this one, I'm going to create an h1 and this one I'm going to write the title of our code the file is open I'm going to, to just refresh it so you can see the debug uh, mode is also open so JavaScript how to encode URI actually why we need to encode the URI uh, when we directly work in the web browser we don't need it but when we are going to call a Ajax call uh, or make to ajax call anyway uh, using the html5 or using the query okay so you need to make sure that the the data you are sending uh, will receive all on the server in the right form and to make sure this you have to encode the url let's see an example to better understand it so what we need uh, for this one let's create a button and let's call send encoded encoded data Okay, and in this, I'm going to uh, make an on-click call. Let's uh, call send data function in this one. And now I'm going to create the script. And this is script, we are going to call a function send data. Okay, just need to verify is it calling or not. I'm going to write down console.log and give it a message send data just called okay so let's run this to verify it refreshing it working fine just going to click it okay so we got the message in the console send data just called okay so so far the functionality is working okay now I am going to call a JavaScript uh, jQuery Okay, because this will make our life easier right now, jQuery. Okay, and now go and create a document uh, dot ready. To get the confirmation, our code will only run when the document object model will be ready. Okay, so this is the good way to get the confirmation and start working on it. Now I'm going to call the uh, a get method to call the API or just I want to call the encode.php so using the ajax get method and this one we are going to provide a URL and it will receive a function this function will have a data okay and it will return with the status okay so this anonymous function uh, will be called when we our API or the, the file we are calling will return the result and it will give us the output so in this we are going to console data and console.log I'm going to call the status okay so we just call this information here we are we are good on this one and let's call the URL URL we are going to pass in code Start PHP and just that's it now let's visit in code.php what will happen when uh, we receive the call inside the encode.php we will just uh, show the message uh, you called in code.php okay PHP file this is the message that we are going to show to the for the testing okay so far we are good we are calling uh, when the button will click okay what will happen it will uh, make an API call or using the get function pass the URL in code.php file will be called and the data will be returned it will display in our console and it will we are also getting the status the call is successful or not okay just refresh this click on it so send data just call like our function got call 
we send a got the message from encode.php what we type you call encode.php file because it is going to make a call and this message is returning your called you called encode.php file and uh, we are getting the data and status a status is successful message or the data we receive from the encode.php file so far is good okay now uh, let's uh, encode a, uh, a URL and this one now I'm going to pass a name okay so uh, let's call this a name variable column question mark okay now we need to pass some data to encode.php for that purposes I'm going to call this uh, let's say name pass the name and name is uh, mark okay mark uh, will be passed and this mark needs to be received on this side and I'm going to call a name creating a name variable uh, dollar underscore get will receive the name okay so it's a way to get the get parameters from a URL so this will get the u name from the URL uh, and it will assign to the name and let's uh, add this name using the dollar name over here you let's change this message in code dot PHP file receive name and what is the name will be shown okay so uh, we are good so far let's refresh this and click on this so send data just call encode.php file receive name mark okay so to just focus on this I'm going to disable this one let's disable this one so let's focus on the message we got encode.php file receive name mark let's update this and now I'm going to pass mark and um, Jill okay and now let's refresh this click on it so you can see we are just receiving mark but not Jill and Jill why because this and is breaking the code and it's not receiving on the server side or the other page or API because uh, this is not encoded we have to encode it uh, otherwise uh, it will not receive on the server side because if you paste this URL in the uh, in the browser it auto encodes it because but now we are passing this using the uh, Ajax call we have to make sure that this data is encoded to encode this or for the testing purposes I'm going to write down uh, let's separate these two and and this one I'm going to write down encode URI component with this method and you can see this is how we can easily encode it why don't I use encode URI over here because I am on the local development server and this will uh, break the code like uh, XHR error or something because a cross browser scripting problem with the browser so I just encode the uh, this variable okay so but you can if you are doing testing in the in a staging environment something you can use it uh, for the whole URL but for right now uh, for the development purposes I'm using it uh, just for the data and now uh, when I do this I'm going to save it refresh it click OK now you can see Mark and Jill are have received on the encode.php so this one is receiving both because it is receiving a encoded data so now our file can easily decode it okay so uh, you uh, there are two functions one is encode URI and one is encode URI component and uh, there is a blog post available on my website if you go on uh, all blogs webmastercampus.com and find the uh, encode okay encode URL UI will come across a blog post and here you will have the incomplete information you can see uh, encode URI escapes all corrected okay and it is recommended if you are using a URL uh, then you should be using the encode URI okay encoded the ampersand dollar dash these all will be encoded but uh, if you are using encode 
URI just, it will not encode the following characters like slash, question mark, at the rate, dollar, uh, m percent, dollar, it will not be encoded. But you encode URI component, it will encode all except the following. So uh, you can go and find out more details. There is another example available that will help you to understand how to use encode uri and you can see how it is easy to encode the url thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel